Okay, and what is she? Um, hi, I'm Chantal, and uh, I've been here before, and I want the same haircut. Yeah, you, oh, <laughs> you want the ball cut a again. A ball cut again. And now we want so to get into a real light colors. A nice straight and a bit uh, higher, so yeah. it, it can grow out like it's now. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Will you turn for you and the rest of the world to show how it hairs now? Oh, that's a nice fast turn. Thank you very much. <laughs> Friends on YouTube, come do her hair again. And uh, the last time she was here, she had already a, a ball cut, and you did comment on that a lot. Nice things, but also not so nice. But what does it matter? Nothing. If she likes it, that's the most important thing. And you may watch. That's very nice that you made that. Of course, I start with protection, as I always do. Then I will um, wet the hair a bit. Start with the undercut, that will be ultra short, then we are going to cut the ball and then we are going to color it. Wist ik eerst helemaal niet. Ja, dat is wel. Blauw. Dat is daardoor het scherm een beetje groen. Ja, dat geeft reflectie groen natuurlijk. Before I start the cut, I separate the upper hair from the underlines. So I just lay the longer hair aside. Pin that away. I will start at her right side, working till I get over the center of the skull with ultra short hair, and then I do the other side. Start with the sides, and her hair grows very fast. It was ultra short the last time she was here. Using a comb. Just to give it some shape, because now still the hair is it's grown out, but still looking like a hairstyle and that you don't get when you use a clipper comb. Still looking for a model, what I can do all her hair with clipper comb. <laughs> I was thinking about to do that. Okay. <laughs> After this, it grows out. Okay, you let me know. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Make a nice soft contour line. Clean the facial lines. Use my clipper as a comb. Clear the roundings around the ear. Still watching where the hair goes and always work in the opposite lines. Clean it in between. Couple. <laughs> yeah. Going behind the ears, connected to the hairs on the front. You see how dark her natural color is, it's uh, dark blonde to light brown. Put the blades on the sharpest position and clean it, the contour again. You already see that the, the ball cut is a disconnect haircut. The under hair is uh, ultra short and the ball is laying upon it. Make sure that the roundings are flowing. And then the lines, of course, flow also.
Het is wel grappig dat we elkaar nog tegenkwamen, hè? <laughs> ja. Leuk. Superleuk, hè? Een tering drukke trein was het. Ja, was ook allemaal veel trager. Ja. Met een small clipper. I clean the contour. Don't leaning on the skin, because uh, I have to bleach her hair. And then it would be irritated by the way I damaged the skin a bit. So I don't want to have that to happen. And she has very sensitive skin. You can see that when you go over with a clipper. You see already it's lighting up to red. <laughs> so I have to be careful. That's why I never tell a model uh, to wash the hair before she bleached because then you have your natural protection on the skin. Come to the other side. Connecting the left side to the right side. See how my comb is pushing the hairs in the position I want them to lay when I cut them off. I think uh, a comb is uh, even as important as the scissor and the clipper are. Because a comb is a, an a ultra uh, sensitive thing to make yeah, character to a hairstyle. And you make also a difference when you do this as a hairdresser. The difference is that people who do this at home will part the hair over that line and just clipper it off in one length. And now you have a nice flow of the hair. So you can see that it's been done by a hairdresser and by not by somebody who would just do this at home. Can clean the contour, not leaning on the skin. Ja, eigenlijk moet ik weer naar Amsterdam, hè? Hoe ga je dat? Nou, in, in stedelijk is nu een Mondriaan expositie. Mm -hmm. En ik heb zo'n lederhoos in Mondriaan staan. <laughs> dat zou heel gaaf zijn om ja. daarmee op het stedelijk dan zogenaamd expositie te gaan krijgen. Ja. Voor mij sta je bij iedereen die daar een foto toestelt, heb, sta je op de foto. <laughs> Als je van Mondriaan houdt, houd, dan doe je dat. Ja, natuurlijk. Ik zat beneden dan nog boven. Geen idee. Ik heb alleen gehoord dat hij er was. Ja, dat is toch best vaak het steden. Ja, ja, absoluut. Oh, leuk. Ja, dat is een expositie, die zet je niet zomaar even op, hè? Ja, er komen ook heel veel mensen natuurlijk op af. Heel veel, wereldwijd. Mm -hmm. Again, set out a soft side beard. Clean the facial line. Clean the running around the ear. And with my small clipper, I clean the contour line so it's clean. Now I can go to the upper hair. <laughs> now I'm going to wet the hair because I need uh, this hair to be wet. To cut nice straight lines. Part myself the first line, and again I work till I get on the center line of the skull. I want to go to there, so I take a lot off. Cut this in one straight line.
leaning on the hairs and made the slight correction. Take a new line on it, about a centimeter. Lay a new line on it, watch through the hair. And go about two, three millimeters below it. So just an ultra small part below the first line. Again, put a little bit force on it, not too much. So I cut all the lines. And this is the first side I've cut. I'll go over the center of the skull. But I need myself a guide to support the line on the right side. Cut myself this first line. Again, lay the hair softly on the under hair. Don't force anything. Just gently lay it because you see the hair is jumping up at that place. So I have to be aware of the crown that's there. If I don't use the crown into the hairstyle, I get a flow into it, a wavy flow. I don't want that. Coming from the center of the skull, laying the hair in the rounding, comic in the rounding, and then from the side come in and cut it. And now I've got myself a, a, a guide on the side, so you can turn part of the first centimeter again, lay it down in a natural form, knowing from the other side that it came out there, This side is easier than the other side because here the hair is there hanging down. The other side it travels a little bit to the front. Take a new line on it. And when the cut is ready, I'm going to bleach there. First the outgrow, then the length. This I will do with 9%, but I tell you when I put it on. Go about 2 millimeters below the line I just cut. So I have a little bit more weight on it. And come to the last part. Rustgevend, hè? Kan niet spelen. Fijn, hè? Ja, dat is vrij vaak, hoor. Kan wel. Ik kan geknipt door, hoor. Ja, dat geloof ik. Dat is lekker, hè? Het is sowieso fijn om als je, als je iemand vertrouwt dat je jezelf gewoon kunt loslaten. Dus ja. Come to the front. Want dat is, dat is het fijnste bij kappen, als je, als je hem of haar kunt vertrouwen. Mm -hmm. Nou, dan zit je gewoon lekker nog. Er zijn heel veel mensen altijd aan het zoeken naar een goede kapper. Ja. Altijd. Ja, klopt. Dat is ook gewoon heel fijn inderdaad. Als je gewoon iemand hebt die je kunt vertrouwen. Ja, die jezelf ook een fijn mens vindt. Ja, ja dat is dan wel half op weg. Dat is echt grappig, want Marion, mijn vrouw, die vond jou ook heel bijzonder. <laughs> Omdat je dat gewoon vind heel... ik heel lief. Ja, je bent gewoon een heel mooi mens, ben je. Dat vind ik ook van jou hoor. <laughs> Dank je wel, schat. Coming to the bang of the, 
or fridge Traveling from side to side Take a little bit down Take all the hair off the fontanelle open on it Wood off too Op and on. <laughs> Guiding my blades with my finger so it's more stable. Cutting an ultra blunt line so you can see. For so far, the cutting. So now I'm going to make the bleach. Okay, I made my bleach. It's a blue bleach uh, of Siebel. I made it with Fario Blonde. I made it with a deep conditioner. That deep conditioner is a new product of Goldwell. It goes in two steps. You put it uh, one pump on 20 milliliters into your uh, bleach and then it protects the hair and it gives new uh, structure to the hairs, uh, especially to the hair that is already damaged. I start of course with the outgrow because she is already blonde. This will take certainly about 20 minutes. Then I will put it into the ends of the hair and watch what it does. But that I think, think I do in the sink because there I can control it. So in this way I put all the bleach on. I uh, don't know if I told you, but it's with 30 volume, it's 9% peroxide. Now I've got all the bleach on. Take clubs. Take a carton wig. Lay it on the contour line. This gives more space for the bleach to rinse out and for her, her skin is better protected for the heat of the bleach. I love garden wigs. <laughs> <laughs> There's a close up. Then I will control it in 20 minutes. You see the ends are left out, so there's no bleach on it. Close my plastic foil. And afterwards I'll tell you what I all did to come to the color she will get at the end of the video. Hello, we're back from coloring. It took uh, a half hour to become this blonde. And then I put on a toner. It's a silver toner of Lacme. And that I left in till I reached the color that she has now. And now I'm going to use uh, a smooth serum of Lanza because I want to leave the hair down. The only problem is it's uh, a yellow tone. But when it's this thin, you don't see it anymore. You see the skin is not irritated, the hair is in wonderful condition. Come this product through the hair. Start blow drying with a medium to small brush. To give it the effect of a ball cut.
the sofa blood drying. I take again the yellow uh, product. It's not so much. It's the most wonderful oil of Lanza. I'm coming to show you also this hairstyle outside because in the studio I have a lot, a lot of strange lights. It comes beca because the background is uh, blue and it gives uh, a lot of strange color effects on my hair. So I will also show you this by photos outside. Cleaning the contour with my knife. Okay, this is my new hairstyle for her. An ultra short uh, bowl haircut in cool platinum colors. Make photos outside, she turns for you to show you in the studio how it looks, and on the end of the video, you see the photos, of course. Okay, my love, you may turn for you and the rest of the world and show the end result of your hairstyle. Thank you very much.